वेलकम स्टूडेंट्स बैक टू वन मोर सेशन ऑफ योर जनरल ऑर्गेनिक केमिस्ट्री सो आई थॉट यू डिफरेंट टाइप्स ऑफ आइसोमेरिज्म इट दैट इज योर स्ट्रक्चरल आई थॉट यू आई थॉट यू द कम्प्लीट चेन आइसोमेरिज्म पोजिशनल फंक्शनल ऑल द टाइप मेटामेरिज्म टोटोमेरिज्म देन आई वॉज आर टेकन यू इन टू कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ स्टीरियो आइसोमेरिज्म वेर आई थॉट यू अबाउट ऑप्टिकल आइसोमेरिज्म टिल द लास्ट वीडियो इन दैट आई थॉट यू वॉट इज ऑप्टिकल एक्टिविटी वॉट इज स्पेसिफिक रोटेशन वॉट आर द enantiomers what are diastereomers the differences between diastereomers and enantiomers i have also taught you how what is dln nomenclature as well as rns nomenclature that right now we'll be coming back to the last type of isomerism that is conformational isomerism that so when i have to speak about conformational isomerism basically we speak or this particular topic we'll see what is what are conformational isomers or rotamers why do actually they show conformational isomers everything in detail so first of all this concept of conformational isomerism started with the alky alkenes why alkenes first important thing as we know are or they contain carbon single bond carbon right so what is this this is a sigma bond which is present this is where is the whole concept which lies around this right now because of this c single bond c right right these alkenes they rotate means they show rotation around this single bond the single bond because of this rotation they going to show infinite number of conformations right right that is what i said alkenes contain carbon single bond single uh, carbon single bond carbon right now just now i said due to rotation this is where is the main word you do rotation around carbon single bond carbon carbon single bond i'm writing that they can they show infinite number of conformations infinite number of conformations okay now what are conformations that is what we have to be clear let us define conformations so let us question ourselves what are conformations right what are conformations right so if your teacher is asking you define conformations just write they represent conformers which are rapidly interconvertible and non -separa uh, separable okay right let us first write and see an example with that conformations are they represent i'm giving the definition first conformers which are rapidly interconvertible into convertible and non separable i can convert it rapidly and i once they from there they i can separate them so such isomers are called as conformational isomers conformational isomers they are also called in some they will be also calling it as rotamers rotamers okay so now what are these conformations we will see taking different examples of ethene propane cycloalkene like that that right. so however when we speak about the rotation around carbon carbon single bond that it is not completely free why it is not completely free because a small energy barrier always exists between them how much energy barrier almost uh, very less basically 20 kJ per mole of energy barrier is existing that rotation is it restricted to that so why because of the weak repulsive interactions so there are two adjacent bonds isn't it carbon carbon bonds because of the uh, repulsive interaction that little difference is always there so such repulsive interaction is called torsional strain i am introducing one more word here torsional strain so let us write whatever we have just spoken i said however i am just giving notes notes wise so that you can note it in your book however rotation around carbon carbon this carbon single bond is not completely free is not completely free why because it is hindered hindered means stopped or restricted by how much amount of energy by a small energy barrier this is by a small energy barrier 
of 1 to 20 kilojoules per mole. 1 to 20 kilojoules per mole. Why is this energy barrier observed? Due to weak repulsive forces. Weak repulsive forces. Repulsive forces of interaction. Right. Where is this interaction happening? I said carbon carbon single bond, isn't it? Right. Between adjacent bonds. Very weak they are basically between carbon carbon adjacent bonds. Done. Now, because of this repulsive forces or because of this repulsive interaction, the certain amount of strain which is created in this molecule. Right. Right. Let us write that word due to such type of repulsive interaction repulsive interaction there is certain amount of strain which is created in a molecule that strain is called torsional strain torsional strain remember this word right so i thought you what is meant by uh, conformational isomers and I also thought your rotamas and I also said what is the meaning of this strain. I told you, you know the restricted part or because of this repulsive interaction there will be little amount of energy difference between them. That is 20 kilojoules per mole. So that particular thing is torsion strain. Now we'll apply this all this concept taking an example of confirmation of ethanes. Right. Let us write the heading now. Confirmation so of ethane now i said isn't it because of the carbon carbon single bond it uh, the molecule it starts rotating when it is rotating it's going to show us different types of conformers when means we'll be studying those saw horse confirm confirmations you know newman projection eclipse all this very soon right so when i speak about conformations of ethane first of all ethane molecular formula c 2 h6 now <clears throat> first we'll let us write the molecular orbital diagram for that now carbon is here there is one more carbon this carbon this this sp3 hybridized lobe forms a sigma bond one hydrogen six hydrogens isn't it one here two this is at the back end one more hydrogen here one more I'm not drawing it neatly but not a problem yes hydrogen here so both are this is sp3 hybridization this is sp3 hybridization so here this is the sigma bond so how is this sigma bond formed sigma bond is formed due to which overlap due to linear overlap isn't it due to linear overlap okay done now what happens this particular thing suppose if it rotates but always remember not this will not rotate this only will move but though it rotates this overlap is maintained even even if these are rotated this overlap is maintained right let me rotate and show you see here carbon this is also carbon sp3 hybridized this is sp3 hybridized both are intact only are you able to see now i'm rotating the molecule like this see here this hydrogen comes here this hydrogen this is one more hydrogen hydrogen here this hydrogen is here one more hydrogen are you not finding the rotation of the molecule yes it is rotated but what is intact overlap remains intact you have to remember that overlap is maintained even by rotation okay even when i'm rotating the overlap remains intact right then yes so this particular uh, rotation concept after learning this certain there are certain uh, you know confirmations which were given for et the first one is the ball and stick model of et okay right let's see that so considering the rotation concept <clears throat> first we're going to learn ball and stick model of ethane okay model stick a model of ethane ethane molecule done right so here one carbon atom important remember understand this here in ball and stick model one carbon atom is kept stationary we're going to fix one carbon atom stationary and we are going to rotate other carbon atom is rotated around the axis right only one will be kept stationary. let me show you with an example and uh, see 
right ethene molecule isn't it c2h6 so this is carbon let us zoom in the form of a ball i'm just showing it uh, in this on this page okay hydrogen this is one hydrogen this carbon is linked by a sigma bond with one more carbon isn't it yes so this hydrogen is here okay this is already linked like this isn't it c2h6 so one more hydrogen this is hydrogen done so what are we going to do we are going to place one of the carbon atom stationary we will not rotate this we will be rotating only this so when you are holding this and you are rotating this shifts in this direction this hydrogen shifts here and this hydrogen shifts here so what are we doing we are rotating it let us write rotate after rotating how does this molecule look like just see this carbon is here only let us draw that carbon this hydrogen also is here let us draw that hydrogen this hydrogen also is here let us draw that hydrogen done now this hydrogen is again here we have shifted so that hydrogen which we have rotated means not this one i should write so basically if i am rotating i think okay let me put this one this one this this is the hydrogen which i am rotating holding like this one hydrogen comes here one more hydrogen is here this is rotated isn't it from here it has gone little bit above so this is how it rotates so there are infinite number of conformations of ethene infinite number because the rotation like in this way in this different different rotations we can show but among the infinite number of rotations only you know if i have to speak only two extreme cases means those are out of so many conformations two productive or two uh, extreme means perfect conformations which we are going to learn that is there for your 11th uh, syllabus also right that is eclipsed form of confirmation and second is staggered form of confirmation eclipsed form staggered form so how are we going to represent this eclipsed form and staggered form we are going to represent eclipsed form or staggered uh, staggered form of confirmation by saw horse and newman projection formulas that is what we'll be showing you so eclipsed and staggered how are they represented let us write that they are represented by as i said saw horse projection so horse formula and new men projection both the things will be i'll be representing these forms in this new men projection the other one there is one intermediate form okay there is an intermediate form of the confirmation that is called scoop right fine for such confirmations important thing you have to remember bond angle and bond length both will remain same for school remain same done yes students so this is the basic idea of the confirmations of ethene now i'll be teaching you in my next video the saw horse as i said told you saw horse and newman projection then i'll be also be teaching about school uh, projections of the intermediate confirmations of ethene thank you for watching Stay, stay tuned, stay connected.